Hello everybody. After working several weeks on the center section and the forward longerons and bulkheads, it is now time to tear everything down again for priming. So starting with the firewall, removing the firewall and countersinking the part where the bottom skin uh, should be inserted. I now have to tear down uh, yeah, the whole construction that I created because all parts need to be primed. So it's always horrible because it's a lot of work. I have to remove all the clicos and uh, but normally the, the, the things that I build are let's say every time there are small parts, small sections. Actually this was uh, quite a long one. I think it probably took a month or maybe one and a half a month. So six, seven or eight days. Uh, so that's a little problematic because it already looked like a plane and now when I'm breaking it down it's actually starting to uh, yeah, look less of a plane. So here I've got all the auxiliary longerons and four bulk straw uh, off. I'm now removing the the bottom, the bottom skin. You have to be careful there because uh, yeah, it should not bend or something like that. And now it's time to remove the side skins. So removing all the clicos, temporary uh, fasteners, and doing it bit by bit being careful not to, to break anything or bend anything because if you do it in the wrong order then uh, and it's still somewhere connected then you might bend something so you have to be careful there. Right, removing the main longerons and also the all the inside, uh, inside bottom plates as you can see I'm <laughs> tearing down the whole, the whole system uh, yeah, it's, again, it's necessary for doing all the um, construction. Actually, there was a small part of the longerons that didn't fit yet, so I needed a little bit more trimming. And uh, I figured out that I could do it when I have to remove anything anyway, so uh, that's why I waited so long for that. So here I, I fit it again, and it uh, looks okay. I think I removed the uh, longerons the day after this or something like that. I separated the center section from the tail section, so now it's again two different parts. And uh, yeah, I have to countersink and dimple all the parts, cleaning it up, scuffing it, and then start working on the uh, priming. Here I do some extra work on the, uh, the bends of the side skins. So I'm doing small adjustments, which things I thought didn't really fit well. Here I countersink the bottle skin. So the most preferred thing to do it is countersinking all the parts where there is an extra skin on top of it. So you dimple the top skin and then you countersink the skin beneath that in order not to countersink all the longerons or bulkheads. Because that would probably make the construction less strong. Okay, so the rest of the video is mostly me countersinking all the parts. And uh, as you can see I also put the heater on because uh, it's getting colder and uh, yeah. I'm a little bit worried about priming because uh, while priming it should be not let's say uh, about freezing point so I have to be careful there. So I have to warm up the whole uh, workshop before I start priming. As you can see I have to do a lot of countersinking. I will dimple all the parts after priming, so I will first do all the countersinking, so at least the countersunk holes are primed while priming. And the dimpling I will do after that because that's probably easier. Also, if you countersink before you do the scuffing, then it's uh, it will really deteriorate your uh, Scotch Brite pads. So 
those are the pedals. They also need to be countersunk because they need to have flush rivets in there. Will be a lot of things I need to um, prime. So that's probably going to take me uh, at least a complete day for cleaning it up, degreasing it and um, priming it. Okay, now I'm countersinking the uh, bottom skin at the main bulkhead. Again, because there is another skin coming over it, I don't want to countersink the bulkhead itself. So I countersink the, uh, the bottom skin. Here you can see that the tail cone is uh, separated from the center section. I'm removing the the bulkhead because I want to dimple all the parts where the bottom side and the side skins are connected. I do them now because this part doesn't require any any priming anymore. Well actually the side skins, yes you can see they still need to be primed where the overlap of the skin is, but that's not a problem because that's actually the, the outside of the dimple, so that's not a problem. Okay, I also replace the cone, or let's say remove the, move the cone, because I want to make a complete new table. So, this is my old table, or actually it's just the table with some uh, wooden things on it. I try to make a new design where I can use a very big ladder, as you can see. And this way I can... My idea is that actually can, I can put a complete plane uh, on the table. So not only the tail part, but also the center section and the forward part. When everything is assembled together. Which allows me to have the other table free for working. And also uh, have everything stable. So it took me a while to be satisfied with the setup. So here, uh, now I only use half the table as you can see. Because currently the cone section is... Uh, still the only one. As soon as I've got everything constructed and it's riveted back together as it was, then I can use this uh, table. Alright, continuing building my pie in the sky. <laughs> 